What if you could reply to unwanted sales emails politely just by typing no thank you? What if you could reply to interesting sales inquiries politely but in a very short way? What if you could use the power of ChatGPT directly in your Gmail inbox and use it to help you with replying to emails? Let's take a look at the extension that we have built here as a proof of concept that will help you reply to emails inside of Gmail using the power of ChatGPT3. So just to give you an idea how it works, this is an example, a totally made up a submission to a form that we have on the website. And let's say someone wants us to do a project around this software that he knows it's going to be $100. In this case, we would say, okay, this is obviously too little. But we want to uh, make it nice looking. So here we'll click use the GPT to reply to us. And this will generate hopefully a more civil response. And now you can see, okay, let's close this one down. We can see uh, it says, dear Steve, thank you talking to us regarding the product in appreciate your interest. Unfortunately, the budget you have allocated for the project is too limited to cover the necessary cost to complete the project. Um, if you're able to increase on oh, this is fantastic. If you're able to increase the project, we're happy to discuss the further. We understand business papa, remain cost. Do not hesitate, get in touch. So this is exactly what we have written with a bit of nicer formatting. And you know, it's all nice and polite. We can also use another example, which I have built over here. So for example, this is again, a made up uh, contact and someone says, you know, we would like to work on that and a little bit of a description. Do you think it's possible? We would like to have estimate for that project. Tell us more. So in this case, we want to be short as possible. We'll say, sure, this possible. Would you like to chat to discuss more? And we click our extension helper. And we get a nice, nice reply. Um, and we say, thank you very much for reaching out. Appreciate interest. We'll be more than happy to discuss the project with you. This is exactly what we need. And we say, okay, we understand that you need to move merchandise from the Google sheet to Airtable, which is exactly what was described here in the project. Um, and also having each new product added to Shopify store and post it on your social media. Absolutely. This is entirely possible. And we believe that this is a great project idea. Wow. Great. We believe that we would like to uh, chat over phone or via Skype. Okay. Well, that's <laughs> not very updated who uses Skype, but that could be an option as well. Chat via, you could be using, for example, Calendly link and so on. We would get there. We would get to understand the project requirement. This is fantastic. We're very excited about the potential. That looks very great. Uh, but if any case, we don't like the reply, we can delete everything and we can start something else. Or we can say, for example, um, project is possible. This week I cannot. Can we talk? Again, maybe let's say this month. Next, next month. And let's ask GPT for a reply. All right. So the reply we have got, thank you for inquiry. Uh, we have the great deal of expertise in this integration. This is great talking up our service. I'm sure that you understand that our schedules are quite busy and I will need some time to assess uh, more in details the work required. Unfortunately, uh, I'm currently quite busy this month. What about next month? Fantastic. This is really great. So this kind of gives us um, a good draft that is nice, polite, and we can kind of adjust it based on what we would, what we would need. So now let me tell you how all of a sudden this uh, reply GPT showed up in your uh, in your Gmail. So what we're using for, for this, we're using a custom custom extension. And the first step would be that we will show you how to install the um, extension over here. So this is called a, a Gmail reply GPT extension, but that extension is also linked with Integromat. And this is where most of the magic happens. And then it is also linked with the OpenAI. So you will have to have an account with OpenAI and make Integromat. So what happens here is that the Gmail extension is basically sending the content of the email 
into the into the integromat and here using the OpenAI GPT-3 module we are using a little bit of a pre-work to get the type of the response that we want so what you can see that here we are selecting the the model of AI that we want the text da Vinci that's the latest model that uh, you should be using this is one of the most powerful models but later if anything gets updated then you can change it over here and this is also something where we work around the prompt to change it around so we put a little bit more conditioning and a little bit more context into that that prompt so you can see what arrives from our webhook from through our extension is following things so we send the, the current email so basically the prompt what we have written and then we are sending also the, the email subject then we're also sending the previous email so that the model has a reference then we are sending who the current email we're sending it to so who is the email going to and then also who is the person that um, the email will be sent out so your name and so on and you can see that now here inside of the prompt we are having a little bit of engineering around the prompt and this is something that you can easily play with and to kind of change what the extension what it does and what type of replies it gives to gives to you so what happens is that here I have sort of pre-written that reply to a previous email from and this is the person that we are replying to so reply to the previous email with a long and polite email which says in the current email body this is our prompt so this is exactly the prompt that we are having so what you type into um, gmail window will end up over here and then we also are telling it to have that email signed by by you so the person that is signing this email this way once you go over here you can see that this is also taking a bit of your signature and so on and then we say end of important you know just 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 to make it a little bit more stand out here we give it a little bit more context this is the previous email for your reference and we here attach the previous email that that we had and you can also see that we are making some limitations over here so we're having a substring we're cutting down only 2000 characters whatever prompt we are having over here which would be more than sufficient but you can play and experiment here easily with that and we are also cutting down the context for the previous previous step so for that reference we are sort of shortening it because the whole model can take only 4000 tokens in total which means within within the prompt we should limit this to about 2000 and then there it's here it says characters and so on so it will be below 2000 tokens a token is more or less equivalent to a word so here we are putting 2000 uh, tokens means 2000 words of, uh, of reply here within make and open ai you have other parameters that you can customize okay uh, and now there's a couple of steps that reply but basically now let's um let me show you how to start this from step so from from the beginning so the first thing you would have to do is you would have to go to your chrome slash extension or you can also go to to tools and extensions and inside of the tools you would have to install the extension this is just a demo extension it's not published anywhere it's a proof of concept so you can download this from the description of this video and what you will download will be a file once you open that file the next step will be here to turn on the developer mode find the folder that you have downloaded and open that folder just that load that folder into here and this will open this uh, gpt3 uh, gpt3 this extension and all this extension does it's based on the open source uh, gmail gs um, code repository which you can see in the description all it does it basically collects the data from inside of gmail once you press the button sends it over to integromat that you can work on it and then gets the reply back and places it here inside of the gmail window so it's a very simple um, extension so once you install it here what you have to do is basically 
refresh the window so that the button shows up. And if you're using the extension for the first time, the moment when you click on it, it will ask you first time use, uh, insert the webhook URL. Uh, so in this case, I'm using make integromat, uh, but you can pretty much replicate this with any other service that would be using webhooks like Zapier and, and so on. Um, so in this case, what you need to do is copy that first webhook that you have. So copy the email address to the extension and then go back into the form and here insert that um, URL and then click OK. And now it actually took this whole previous email as a uh, as a input and now it will generate some sort of reply. So again, so this is some other reply that it generated to that uh, particular project. Okay, um, so what is probably most important for, for you to understand is that once you will receive those prompts over here, so you will uh, receive like the current email body and so on, and you will receive them, um, you know, so this is, this is some of the previous replies, it will say to who the email should be. I think in this case was, uh, let's just use different one. So you can see that email tool is Airtable because it's actually form. If you would be having a person, then it would have the name of, name of the person that you're writing to. The email from is uh, your email that you're using to send out. You also have that subject in case you would like to use the subject. I'm not using it in this particular connection, uh, but you could use it over there. And here you have the previous email without the HTML, and then you have whatever you put in the current email email body. So that's the, the start. And what is happening with those steps is that inside of the OpenAI GPT-3 module, you will have to add a connection to OpenAI. The connection to OpenAI will come from, once you log into OpenAI, you set up account, you can generate different keys and so on for different services. So you would have to generate a new key over here, come back to Integromat, add the key, create the connection. And now you can play with, uh, with this and you can sort of mold the reply of OpenAI by providing it with all the additional information. You could also add the subject here from that step and so on. You could also change change things. A lot of things I was experimenting here change what are the answers that come back. So once that OpenAI provides you the answer here, we just have a simple step, which is markdown. It converts the reply from OpenAI into basic HTML that goes into, goes into Gmail so that you can maintain some basic formatting and so on. So that that stage is needed. Yeah. So the link to that extension, you'll be able to find in the description of the video so you can download the folder. Um, I'll also try to put the link into the, uh, into the blueprint of this, of this scenario so that, that you can start, but that's fairly basic scenario. Um, and you can able to experiment with that, right? So, um, that's that's everything. Um, let me know how how it works uh, for you, and if you find it uh, useful. If you contact <laughs> if you contact me through the submission form, uh, be aware that I might be testing this. So uh, let's see how it works. But I think you know the the main thing is that it helps you save time by creating really nicely formatted uh, emails and so on, which I could see that could be useful in many, many cases. All right, guys, thank you very much and uh, good luck automating your workflows.